Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. The U.S. Open is arguably the toughest major to master. Sometimes sweltering conditions, unruly wind, rowdy crowds, New York City's chaotic traffic. Crazy stuff happens in New York, and the fact that the Open is played at the end of the summer season when a lot of players are already battling injury and fatigue. But in spite of that uphill climb, some champions have done the near impossible and set unbreakable records. And today, we honor those Flushing Meadows milestones. The top five U.S. Open records that may never be broken. Starting with John McEnroe. 40 years ago, the native New Yorker made history as the last man to sweep U.S. Open singles and doubles championships in the same Open. In 1981, Johnny Mack beat his rival Bjorn Borg to win the singles title and then partnered with Peter Fleming to capture the doubles. Because top-ranked men rarely play doubles at the slams, we don't see any man matching that mark. In fact, McEnroe has won four U.S. Open singles titles and four doubles titles. We don't see anybody breaking that record. Up next, team queen Tracy Austin. She was only 16 years, 8 months, and 28 days old when she beat her hero, Chrissy Evert, in the 1979 final, becoming the youngest U.S. Open singles champion in history. Just a few months earlier, Austin ended Evert's 125-match clay court winning streak in Rome. In New York, Austin upset two legends, second-ranked Martina Navratilova and world number one Evert, in succession to set a record we don't think will ever be broken given the WTA's age eligibility rule. At number three, the everlasting Venus Williams. The 41-year-old legend is set to make her record-extending 23rd U.S. Open main draw appearance, a mark we don't think will ever be matched. Incredibly, this will be Venus's 91st Grand Slam main draw appearance, which we think will also stand the test of time. Remember, Venus made the Flushing Meadows final all the way back in 1997 when she fell to Martina Hingis. Amazing. At number two, Fantastic Federer. Roger Federer swept Andy Murray in the 2008 final for his record fifth straight U.S. Open crown. Now to put this incredible achievement into perspective, in the 12 years since Fed's last title, no man has successfully defended the U.S. Open. And that streak continues because defending champ Dominique Thiem has pulled out with a wrist injury. The U.S. Open seems to be the toughest men's major to dominate, so we don't see any man matching Roger's record in the near future. And topping our list of incredible achievements of the U.S. Open, the champion who electrified New York City, the one and only Jimmy Connors. Connors is the only man to win the U.S. Open on three different surfaces, grass, play and hard court. An awesome achievement and an unbreakable record that Hall of Fame historian Steve Flink calls one of the most underrated records in tennis. Connors crushed Ken Rosewall in the 1974 final on Forest Hills grass. Two years later, he beat Bjorn Borg in a classic 1976 final staged on Forest Hills green clay. Connors would go on to win five U.S. Open titles in all, with the last three coming on Flushing Meadows hard court. Every player Jimmy beat in those five U.S. Open finals is in the Hall of Fame. Connors, Federer, and Pete Sampras all share the U.S. Open Open Era men's mark with five titles. Jimmy played a record 115 U.S. Open matches and owns the record for most match wins by a man with 98. Chrissy Everett holds the record for the most U.S. Open match wins by a woman. She's got 101. And that's our list. What are your standout moments from the U.S. Open? I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.